Guys, action speaks louder than words. Hi, this is Shashank Jain, co-founder of Vodafone Interiors. In my previous video, I was talking about what is Vastu and what is the importance. Today, I have taken a very important topic within the same series, which is how do you comply with modern Vastu? So there are modern aesthetics. There will be ancient Vastu. How will you club it together and make it a modern ancient Vastu home? Yes. Vastu within that same space of the house. So guys, what I'm going to do now is I will be sharing an image and I will be talking about how you can divide the space of your house into eight spheres. So whenever you have a layout of the house or your home, so ideally if you're constructing a new home from scratch, you ask your architect to have a Vastu compliant home and at least keep few elements within that same space. For example, uh, while designing the house, I'm talking about people who are just starting their design and uh, there is a vacant plot and you want to put up a home on top of it. So what you can do is keep your Brahmasthan, which is your center of the house as open. As much openness you have within the same living room, drawing room, or maybe with less hindrances, it will be better. Next, what you can do is you can divide these spaces and take a look at the north and the south and the west and the east corner of your house. So first let's talk about the northeast corner. Northeast corner of the house should be ideally uh, not having any bathrooms. It should be a source of water or it should be left open for your puja area or for puja space. So this is a very important tip guys which I would like to share. I will be sharing these important tips in each and every section in each and every video where I'll be covering more about your bedrooms, your living rooms, your kitchens, your bathrooms and I will be going very detailed about each space. For complying modernism into Vastu, what I say is go with a minimal furniture. Vastu also says using minimal furniture, proper air and light, it will not only make your house bigger, nicer and modern but will also make it look very positive. So you will see all the positive energies flowing around if you see that the furniture is very minimal and the and the vent is very open now i will be sharing what is the location of your master bedroom or what should be the location of your study room or your parents room or your uh, different kind of uh, requirements within the same space what i suggest i will go in details with for every room and every space but i'll give a very brief idea what to look about while designing this kind of space for example, for the master bedroom, always try to use a southwest corner in the house. If there is a bedroom in the southwest corner, try to make this as a master bedroom. This will be Vastu compliant. Similarly, for a study area or for a kids room, you might go with a northeast, east or northeast corner. So that will be a good space for your study or your kids bedroom. Even for the puja space, northeast corner is the best space for having a puja room or a puja area. It can be within the room, it can be within the living room as well. So you have to identify a northeast corner for that space. And I get a lot of questions from my clients and a lot of people that where should we place our puja unit? Will, will it should be a puja room or, or a space dedicated for a puja unit will be enough? I think it depends upon your usage and also the space in the house. So if you have a space where there will be a puja room, that'll be great. If not, try to have a puja unit, that'll be fine. But the space should be northeast or northeast corner. Drawing room. This is a very widely used space in the area, right? In your house. And you cannot identify if it, you are living in a group housing apartment or an apartment which is already being constructed by somebody else. You cannot change the space. But for people who are making a new house, try to keep your drawing room within the north space or towards the north corner. The better, the bigger the north space is gonna be for the drawing room, it will flow a lot of positivity into your house. Your health and your money is directly proportional to your drawing room. Try to have this space towards the north corner. Now for the storeroom. This is also a widely used space, especially for the ladies of the house. What I suggest, all the heavy elements or the elements which will take a lot of space, try to put that in the south. Try to make a storeroom within your south space. So there will be a south corner or there will be a south space. 
try to have that space only for your drawing room or I mean only for your storeroom. So that will be a good space. Now we talk about the floor levels. So in a house, floor levels play a very important role or the southern part of your house should be generally kept six to nine inches up from your northern part of the house. But in apartments, you cannot do that. It has to be flat surface. That'll be fine. Even if the surface is flat, try to keep more stuff in your southern part of the area or try to keep your heavy elements of the house in the southern part of the area. If you have an option, if you're making a new house or a new construction, you can do south a little more heavier and now a little more lighter. You can have these two levels within the same space. Generally for my clients, when we construct the complete building right from scratch, we keep on identifying these small, small elements while doing the architecture plans only. So since during the architectural plans, during the civil plans, we can take care of it. This will not make an impact at the later point of time when you will be going for a full fledged interiors. So make sure you follow these small, small steps to follow and to comply your modern house with Vastu tips. I hope you like this video about the modernism of Vastu. What you can do, if you like my video, please share it among your friends, family, using uh, the share button or using WhatsApp or Facebook. So we'll be there putting up all the videos there as well. That will be a great help. Thank you so much.